salutations. This is Evelina Mamet, Lady of the Realm. And first of all, I want to start off with something. It's TGIF! M. Eppers? Thank God. TGIF. Thank God is right. I got me and my cheese. Baby Bell, if you have noticed. Okay, sorry. The other way around. Yeah. Baby Bell. And I wanted to say I wanted to bring up something that's been on my mind for some reason. I guess it's because it's been a while since I yeah, it's been four years. It's been four years since I spent my uh my uh le my first semester at my old college. And I hope you don't mind me. But I was thinking on something. Yeah. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I was just thinking about how over elaborate he can be at times. I mean, I've thought about this when I got home as well from school. But uh, while I was at my college, someone had brought up that I was flamboyant. And you know, when this person is told me this, I jumped back because see I understand that that does not I mean I understand now I try to look the word up and I'll look it up again since I forgot the actual definition Alright, I'm going to dictionary.com and it says well, the word flamboyant. First, it says strikingly bold, brilliant, showy, as in flamboyant colors. Another is too conspicuously dashing and colorful, the flamboyant idol of uh, international society. And for it. Create that restyled the white speeches. Yeah. See, I'm going to assume you all think what I'm going to say, but uh, I thought I meant gay. I didn't think it would apply to me as a woman because I hate saying this, but it's not saying all girls are flamboyant and it would be abnormal for a girl to be flamboyant, but I try to think back in my mind, most girls are not actually flamboyant. I mean, we have personalities, we all do, that's why we have movies now that I'm like, Glad we have personality, but good lord. Ben, I thought about that word, and I thought this person was trying to say I was gay. And to be fair, I always had probably a very flamboyant nature to me. I mean, I love anything that's colorful or different. Because there's just something that I just can't imagine our world not having any color whatsoever. 
And those people who are about to make comments about my skin tone, best be quiet. Yeah, I see you back there with the keyboard. Anyways, yes. But no, um... No, I... I it's not that... I wish I could say it was, but... There was another person online who said or thought I was, uh... It was gay. And sadly, I had to disappoint them and say, I wish I was, but I'm not. I wish I could be a lesbian. I think it would be kind of enjoyable. I think there would be some enjoyment to being one. Uh, I think. I think it'd be fun. Either way, depending on how you look at it. But I'm not. And I was thinking about this. I also went to UrbanDictionary.com. They mentioned that this is more used toward that word's more used towards guys than it is girls. So I was thinking, what is that equivalent? I mean, I try to figure. What would make a woman the stereotype, or what? What is it with women? If okay, what what is that term that we use towards them if they're gay or something, or overly showy or something? Because I guess the argument would be, you could say Rosie O'Donnell is Matt extremely masculine, which, I mean, she's a big woman, but I don't think of her as a masculine. I'm aware that she's a lesbian, which, frankly, I go, good for her. Yeah. And there's another thing. I didn't mean for this video to be anything about uh, gay stereotypes or anything, but I find it interesting that that stereotype even exists. Because the truth of the matter is, Yes, I'm aware of the fact that there are women out there who are very well could be a lesbian because could be lesbian and live with the stereotype of being a big woman and you have the small woman and they're not exactly uh, the most attractive women in the world. But, thank you. My attitude is, I don't judge, as long as you two are happy and like each other. Should stuff melts pretty soon. But, frankly, the reason why I make this video is, is there anyone here on YouTube that fits that description of being you know, quote unquote, flamboyant. I mean, I wanted to go a little bit more out with my outfit to kind of just be, like, yeah, I'm flamboyant. Which is true to say, I do have a showy behavior. I love to make people laugh and giggle. And I love weird over the top things, but. From my perspective, that does not make me gay. You just like weird things. Hell, half of the time when I'm watching stuff with people who, uh, who are, well, I guess maybe not meant to be gay, but are actually gay actors, I just kind of go, well, okay, one example would be Harry Potter, the guy who plays Dumbledore, turned out to be gay. Which, frankly, I go, so what if he is? I'm just thinking, so what if he is? 
He's a headmaster. He's awesome. And the funny thing is, he's in charge of a school of other children. Of course, people would think, Oh no, the children. I'm thinking, the children are fine with their headmaster. They like him. I think he's weird. Right? But also, however, I always wonder about that, that we have all these stereotypes and stuff, and I know, in honesty, and this is more of a, it's more of, when I ask the question, what makes someone gay, or what is that equivalent, or anything, it's more of a rhetorical question. It's like, you can't help your gender orientation. I mean, I'm aware of the fact that there are people who live into those said stereotypes that the media portrays and everything. However, if you're gay, you're gay. If you're a lesbian, you be a lesbian. If you are bisexual, hey, at least until you marry, you don't have to really choose. And at least be amongst both and not have to necessarily stick with one. And that's it. That's pretty much my opinion on the whole thing. I frankly have to say that, but I always wonder what makes people think anything about me would be in that manner? Is it just how I dress? I know I have a showy, funny attitude, but L, so does as Hugh Jackman. We're the only thing we've done so far is just that he might be gay. And which I don't believe he is. Um, you know, I was kind of shocked that Ricky and Glaces was gay, but I guess nowadays it's like, so what? It's gay. Just it's not that I don't commend people for coming out and saying they are because, to be fair, we've been, we haven't exactly been fair to those people, to these people, and we all owe them a big apology. I'm going to say that. I apologize. We're all, all the straight people are sorry. Sorry I keep scratching my neck. I got this big stain here. Hmm. Hey. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I just always wondered that. You know, what necessarily uh is that equivalent for women? I think what happened to fall in that category. I mean only because I tend to wonder why would we even give them what why there's a word for anybody who happens to be that way. Hey, but anyways, I'm fine with it. I'm I'm proud to be flamboyant. Okay, I am flamboyant as hell. I will probably give a lot of awesome showy show-stopping videos maybe once I get things uh, coordinated. Coordinated to. The way I like it, but yeah, that's it. This is Evelyn O'Malley signing out. And please do me a favor, follow me on Facebook. But no, not Facebook, sorry, not uh, Facebook, Tumblr, uh, Twitter, and please check out my fan fiction in the next, uh, I'll give it, check it out on the 8th. I should have something out on the 8th. I apologize it's taking so long, but. Things just haven't been going so well. I've been tired. Anyways, this is me signing out. Bye!